Hello, I'm Suzanne from BaintshedKent.com. Today we're going to have a look at this Jeannot Mary Fisher 695. The boat itself is a lovely and very sea kindly Fisher cruiser and is ideal for quite a few guys if they want to go out fishing or even ladies. Uh, plenty of space in the cockpit but also she's got nice accommodation inside if you wish to spend time touring around to different ports. If we have a look in the cockpit here you'll be able to see that there is a lazarette which you'll see from the still shots is a very good size and here we have the engine housing as well. A neat little step here that opens up and basically you've got a little basin in there. If we look on the port side, you can see rod holder and the general sort of setup with regard to fishing and your tools. It's all a non slip surface, obviously. You've got a door out onto your platform, which has a swim ladder. There's also a jolly nice looking four stroke outboard as well as a get me home in emergencies now we're going to have a look around the rest of the boat here it's very good size side decks given the length overall of this boat there's also grips on the roof here too so you do feel quite nice and safe as you walk around this vessel. There's non-slip grip all over the coach roof as well. Here we have the anchor locker. The boat does actually have all the wiring in place for a windlass, but it doesn't have a windlass at this moment in time. You can see your cleats conveniently located and obviously the anchor and as we look back at the boat she appears to have been quite main, uh, quite well maintained there's a few little marks here and where here and there there's a few little marks here and there that I'm sure a little bit of jiff would get off or whatever you use on your boat. She's also got a full canopy enclosure as well and screen covers. Good sized companionway doors allowing a lot of light and give you easy access to the interior. Now we're going to have a look at the interior of this Chanel Mary Fisher as well. She appears to be very nice and tidy, as is typical with these Mary Fishers. They're very, very well designed, nice and bright and airy, and very flexible in terms of the configuration. At the moment, the owner's very kindly taken the table out that you'll see from the still shots and created a full-size berth which is located on the port side of the vessel and you can see there is a double berth located on the starboard side. Some friends of mine have actually got one of these boats and a small family and they have absolutely great times going up and down the Thames and also out on the ocean wave. Below here we have a fridge that you'll see from still shots. There are some vents here the vents are for the fridge and as we look up and come to the all important business end so to speak where the helm is you'll see two seats, companion helm, helm seat and the interesting thing is on these boats this all lifts up so you've got absolutely fabulous access to every part of the engine and gearbox and whatnot. Have a look around here you can see the Faces have all got a nice luster on them. 
lovely wheel there. Always nice to see a shiny, clean ship's wheel. There's the electrics panel, engine dials, and you can have a look again at the navigational gear, which is all again you'll be able to see on the still shots as well. Now we'll have a look over here. You see there's more storage, a little cupboard, well it's not so little actually, it's a massive great big cupboard here. All your important bits and pieces and again you'll see what we've got underneath the surfaces here from the still shots. Also there is a shower attachment there too. Here you can now see the boat set up in the everyday configuration with the dining table which as you know opens right out, two seats and also there is a piece of wood that goes across here at the back to make another seat in the saloon area. That's obviously the cushion that makes up the infill for the start, uh, port side bed and we've got back to normality again. Here's the owner of the boat and he's kindly obliging me and going to start the engine fuel tool here. Um, it evidently starts on the button, well the proof of the pudding's in the eating. Here we go. Excellent. She's powering away beautifully. The owner informs me that he services us uh, every year. He's owned the boat for the last four or five years. It's done all the sensible maintenance one would wish for. So basically she's ready for the next owner. Thank you very much for starting the engine up. Last but not least we have the heads here which is a decent size given the length overall of this vessel. You've got a hatch there for natural light and ventilation too. Obviously a light up there as well. More storage space too. So all in all I think a very good example of a very practical yet stylish fishing boat or fisher cruiser ideal for the lads to go out fishing on or the occasional lady that's interested in fishing as well but also ideal as a small family cruiser.